Ren texted us. She said the two of you will be absent for the next three days. As soon as I got her message, I woke up Odette, and we called a cab and got here as fast as possible. Most trains aren't running at this hour, so that was really our only option. Now then, where exactly are you going this early, hmm? Off on another thrilling adventure with that scoundrel and his shady entourage? If you keep throwing yourself into danger, one day you'll wind up getting hurt. Or worse. No! You don't have to do anything! I don't want to lose you! I mean, look at what happened to Cray. I know you put a lot of pressure on yourself because of your family, but if that's your only reason, if you're just risking your life for your dad's sake, then... then I won't let you go!
You're certainly up bright and early. About to depart, I take it? One must always be responsible when making critical decisions, and be acutely aware of their potential repercussions. I pray you took that into careful consideration when making yours, Agnes. Of course I did. I am my father's daughter, after all. I fully intend to seize every opportunity to broaden my horizons and learn from my collective experiences. As much as it pains me to admit, I can't promise that I'll return safe and sound but I can promise that I'll spare no effort to do so. The last thing I want is to sadden you and the friends I love so dearly. Agnes. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Make the most of your connections while you're away. The CID is at your beck and call. There are many truths that lie dormant in the gap between ideals and reality. You would do well to seek them out. <laughs> I will cover for you with regards to your absence from Aramis. You have three days, no more, no less. If you exceed that, I will send in the army. That is as far as I'm willing to compromise. That's more than enough. Thank you, Dad. I entrust my daughter into your care, Arkride. You would do well to utilize her services to the fullest. Uh, I see you've gathered a retinue of assistants and associates. I am depending on you all to keep her safe from harm. No need to worry, Mr. Prez. Your girl's in good hands. We may skirt the rules of society from time to time, but we ain't about to break any labor laws. I too will do all I can to ensure the safety of everyone here. <laughs> you have my thanks. I will give you a call once you reach the city. I shall leave a certain other woman in your capable hands as well. <sighs> Always finds a way to saddle me with busy work. Anyway, that president is sure something. Definitely has the looks for the part. But he sure doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. The guy clearly cares about you, but he just won't come out and say it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is a politician at heart. Evading direct answers is what they're good at. Ah, darn it. I had so many arguments prepared, but now they've been blown out of the water. Just come back to me safely, all right? Will do. If anything does happen, just give us a ring, and we'll be there before you know it. Until then, please look after our friend. Of course! Yeah, you got it.
We finally made it to Arasion. It's easy to tell that it's a city with a storied history just by looking at these buildings. I believe I heard the oldest cathedral in all of Calvert can be found in the eastern part of the city. You heard right. I filmed there a few times myself. That place is always swarming with tourists. Oh, isn't there like a super huge castle here too? There is a palace, yes, though it was left in ruins during the revolution. It's called Vashtar Palace, and it was once the center of the old Calvert Kingdom. Bet that's a decently popular tourist spot too. Wait, what's that? That thing's called an Orbal Tram. It'll take you anywhere in Arasion. They're good for scenic drives, but they ain't exactly built for speed. I'd only hop on one when you've got time to kill. Darn, there goes that plan. <laughs> we can ride one the next time we visit. I've come here a few times for work before, but I never thought I'd return under these circumstances. I've taken the liberty to reserve two rooms for us at a nearby hotel. Awesome. You're a lifesaver, Master. It's not always easy to book rooms on such short notice. So the Mafia's new base is somewhere in this city. We'll dig those cowards out of whatever hole they're hiding in. Let's drop by the local branch first, though. We should get our ducks in a row and secure manpower before making a move. Good thinking. Better to act with caution than with reckless abandon. While we're there, we should take the time to speak with the survivor. We may learn a thing or two from them. Hopefully so. Oh, yeah. Your folks are here, aren't they, Elaine? Are you planning to pay them a visit? No. I'm only interested in handling the task at hand. And I believe our temporary collaborator shares my sentiment. Indeed. I will assist you all to the best of my ability. I've just confirmed that the top dogs of the guild and our young friends have entered the scene. We are still in the process of gathering intelligence on the enemy, but once our analysis is complete, I will be counting on you to do your part, Yin. Naturally. Just so we are clear though, I'm not a part of Heiyue, and I'm not doing this for you. However, I agree that we must do something about that weapon. It's a threat not only to the people of Calvert, but to the rest of the world as well. And I will do everything within my power to protect both my former home and my new one. <sighs> oh, damn. Guess the so-called strongest guy who ever lived is joining the fun. Indeed. And it appears our friends from our very own Shadow Legion are here as well. Hmm. A lot of powerful players here. We've got the Mafia, the Gardens, and all these other random groups. <laughs> we have our work cut out for us, don't we? On the contrary. I believe we could have this whole ordeal settled by the end of the day. But I assume you wish to use this rare opportunity to determine what direction this continent is headed. Yep. Plus, I'll bet there's gonna be a lot of fun surprises by the end. So we should let this show run its course. Can't say I'm thrilled about having another run-in with that freak from the gardens. But I'm still psyched as hell for this thing. That Dante's guy sure knows how to throw a party. Well, good host or no, that man is a veritable monster. He's almost as bad as our friend in the silly blue coat. Hey now, 
I resent that. I'll have you know I'm a model gentleman. One thing's for certain, though. This is going to be a festival to remember. I see you have arrived safely in the city. You were nearly on time as well. I'm impressed. We're still ascertaining the names and numbers of the enemy, but I have learned which organizations are there at present. First, the Bracer Guild's Edith branch turned up shortly after you, and they were joined by some capable Bracers from elsewhere. Then we confirmed the arrival of Heiyu Wei's White Orchid Dragon and Yin, and they likely have a large number of Shangshou accompanying them. A few Jaeger Corps have joined the fray as well, the warriors of Kruga and Eisenshield included. The church sent two members of the Grossritter, as well as elite members of Iscariot. Ikaruga and Marduk were also dispatched to Urasion by their clients. Oh, and your clients are there too. They are likely lurking in the shadows as we speak. That's all I have. I shall leave the rest in your capable hands. I must turn my attention to the mountain of tasks that await me. Greetings, my friends. I thank you all for taking time out of your very busy schedules to come here today. My name is Gerard Dante. I am the head of Almada, as well as the man you seek to destroy. I am thrilled to announce that every one of our invitees are in attendance. No doubt you all were brought here under different circumstances, but your end goals are the same. To lead us off in chains, or lead us to an early grave. We thought about simply settling this with an all-out war, but the collateral damage would no doubt be immense. And we would never involve innocent civilians in our bloodshed. At least not without an explicit purpose. So we went back to the drawing board, and we found a far more elegant solution. We decided to host a game, one that would make clever use of the sprawling labyrinth of underground ruins just below this city. The concept is quite simple. We will have you all engage in a fierce competition where you will proceed to slaughter one another like rabid animals. These ruins have existed since the days when this country was a kingdom, and when this city was its capital. 
They shall serve as the arena for our game. Once you have bathed in the blood of your peers, you will earn the right to challenge one of my pawns. Should you take all of my pieces, the last team standing will have the opportunity to checkmate me here in Vashtar Palace. That is the long and short of it. I should mention that participation is compulsory, so I would not skip out on this if I were you. That is, if you value your own lives as well as those of the 280,000 innocents in this city. I trust that an explanation of this device's capabilities is unnecessary. This game has a number of rules that govern participation, the evacuation of civilians, and other such matters. Should anyone break the rules, the device will instantly detonate, sending everyone straight to the afterlife, whether that be heaven or Gehenna. Rule violations will be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis by an impartial surveillance system which is run by this relic. The device's judgment is absolute. Do not think you can pull the wool over its all-seeing eye. Should you wish to face me in battle, you must eliminate the other teams and conquer the game. It really is that simple. I do hope you will enjoy this carnival that we have dutifully prepared. I know that I will. Ah, and there's the noon bell. The game's first round will begin exactly two hours from now. Each team has been assigned an entrance to the labyrinth. We will send each of you a map with their locations momentarily. Once you arrive, you will need to search for a key card that we hid near your respective entrances. And that about covers our overview. I look forward to seeing who I will fight at the end of these thrilling three days.
No need to be shy now. See you again. Do you have any preferences? Thanks for coming. Time to flex my cooking muscles. Nothing better than this. Sure, I don't mind. Let me know what you think. Hmm. <laughs> well. is huge! Yeah, almost like it's towering above us. Ooh, there's the opera house! I've always wanted to take a peek inside. Looks pretty different from the theater back home. As soon as we accomplish our objective, we can come back and watch one of their performances.
quick break, that's all. Why not buy something to remember your time here? Need a souvenir? Hello there. See you again. Thank you, Brad. Take a good look around. I'm proud of all my wares. It's been a pleasure. Let's see.
Alrighty, 